<laughs> uh, okay, we caused a bit of damage. Welcome everybody to another episode here on New Rear Door. Um, we're having a little bit of fun with some TNT, uh, causing a little bit of lag and all the rest of it. Um, Dougie's off, see you mate. Um, yeah, so I've cleared out all this area here, as you can see. That used to be sort of going up quite high there. I've blown quite a lot of arrows. I'm using picks as well uh, when I want to get a bit more precise. So I try not to get the TNT too close to uh, to here. Oops, and I missed. How rubbish was that? But yeah, I'm trying not to get the, um, the TNT too close to... Uh, and I did that again. How could I keep failing? <laughs> um, let's go up this way. Um... Yeah, because I've been breaking the glass a little bit, and that's a bit unfortunate. I've got to keep repairing it, so I'm trying not to get too close. Um, let's try that again. We'll get there in the end. Uh, I've got a few roadblocks to get rid of, um, but what I want to do is just really clear this area out and, um, you know, get to a point where we're not sort of... Um, are you, you friends with me? Are you Yeah, because that's the other thing as well. Is we're upsetting a lot of pigmen when we do this, because... Um, yeah, a few of them die, but yeah, I want to get rid of all these tunnel areas, and we're going to have just a flat area at the bottom over here by our farm, uh, and then we're going to decorate it with those mushrooms and that sort of thing. So um, let's eat something so we don't uh, die, um, and then yeah, we'll just sort of get rid of some of this other stuff. the The main pain is this, and this is why I did think about using uh, TNT. Um, cannons or you know sort of droppers dropping it down using a sort of a, a mining system but quarrying it all it's just that once you get to these you've got to stop it you've got to get rid of them because then they won't explode in it and there's a lot of that around and that's that's a a, a big problem to, to to have with you know mining all this out plus you know I do want to gather some of this quartz up as well so um, it's just a case of every now and then using TNT and sometimes we will uh, just use a pick so like that bit there I'll just mine out of a pick perhaps level it all down again and get some more TNT and have another go and I missed one how, how could I miss one like that terrible I'm not sure if there's any more behind there hopefully there isn't and we don't die no just the one that's cool all right, I'm going to carry on, um, yeah, clearing this out and see where we get to. made quite a bit more progress since uh, using a little bit of TNT upsetting some pigmen and uh, yeah have, having some fun and as you can see we've slabbed all this area here which is just a tiny part of it that bit right at the back is kind of 128 blocks from this bit here um, I'm not going to do a circle going round but we should be able to if we took this lot out and uh, the rest of it is all lava over, care, over there so that's okay um, needs this bit coming out really. This bit behind us, I don't know about. It's a lot of work. It's fairly flat over that side though, so we might be able to get a lot of it done. I don't know if the spawn rates have been affected yet. Some weird things happening though. Look, you can see some pigmen down there, and I've got string on top of that, so string is obviously not stopping mobs from spawning. Or at least it's not stopping the pigmen from spawning, that's for sure. Um, which is a little bit frustrating. I don't want to be using redstone on there to stop them spawning. Um, so we might have to do something different to sort of decorate this area because I don't want it just plain slabs. Uh, I've had a little, little sort of play as well there and seen what the sort of world looks like when it's been indented, sort of like with the the blasts and that kind of thing. So 
Again, not quite sure if I'm going to sort of keep it like that or do we have it flat. I'd love to get your suggestions. Do we, we keep it like that? Um, I think with this, I've got another idea that I'm probably going to use coloured glass. So we'll kind of mimic what we're doing there, but we'll use coloured glass. So we'll, we'll sort of make them sort of neon type mushrooms that you get in modded Minecraft. Uh, but we'll make it out of glass, I think, rather than those blocks. And then hopefully nothing should then spawn on them. So, uh, yeah, I've got a little bit more slabs to uh, lay out. I've got a lot more blasting to do, but um, that will probably do it today in the never because I spent absolutely hours in here doing all of this. Well, what do you think guys? I've replaced the mushrooms with my own mushrooms, which I think look pretty cool. And they're lit up as well. Let's go and take a quick look down at what we've done. I want your opinion on stuff as well. Um, so we've got lots of choice of colour, which is really cool. So all I've done is grown the mushrooms. I just replaced them with glass and we've got white glass in the middle. And then actually down at the bottom, we've got an end rod underneath there. We could equally have used... Um, one of the sea lanterns probably would work quite well because it would be the sort of similar colour to the blocks. Uh, we've done that. Now, opinion. Does this look better with the white underneath it or with the green grass underneath it? I know it's green, so do, do we have green grass underneath it? Um, I'd like to know, see what your thoughts are on that one. So uh, I'm going to leave that up to you guys. So put down in the comments for me, please. Um, do you like it with the green grass or with the stone underneath? And do you actually have any other suggestions we can do with this? Because as I say, there's, these guys are spawning on here, so the real ones are no good. And also in the comments, do you like it like this? Do we want to make it more terrain? Or do we leave it nice and flat like this and just have sort of multiple layers and probably a lot more of these because uh, we've only got a few um, it'd be nice to have a lot more this is one with just complete stone underneath and again what do you think of the end rod do, do you think like keep that uh, or lantern uh, love to know what you think and then we've just got to take this lot down really next because it's a huge mass um, TNT will probably do it and then we've got this lovely lava lake underneath which is fantastic then because um, yeah, there's nothing over there can spawn, but yeah, we'll have to do these as well. So anyway, let me know your thoughts. Uh, would like to uh, get your feedback on those. So these little boxes have been appearing around the server, and I've noticed them in a few people's videos. I didn't think I'd had one, but I've just come down here, and I noticed there's one down here by my uh, skull and beacon farm. Let's uh, just double check. I don't think anyone's bought any recently. Um, I did have another sale in there which uh, I sort of uh, put in and we've got another three skulls there and I've taken a beacon out for myself which we're going to be using so uh, yeah that's pretty awesome but yeah so there's there's this okay that now a f office of granite replacement enforcement order by ogre uh, granite is hereby banned this box contains a selection of box you can use it's the blocks you can use instead in other words so uh, let's take that off and it's just giving you a suggestion of a blocks that can be used um, yeah um, I'm not so sure about you know I'm not a big fan of granite I must admit I don't think it really works but I have got it on a build so you know um, and to be perfectly honest uh, it works where it's being used so I'm sorry guys, I don't agree with you. That's 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 what I think of your box and your rules. Yes, look, we've got granite in our builds. We have purposely put this block here because it is solid rock and you know it's more logical to have a tunnel made out of solid rock than it is dirt. Yet it looks like the dirt colour. It's natural, it's staying, it's it's got it's the only thing that works. So I definitely don't agree with Ogre or whatever they want to call themselves. They they can go ahead. Um, in fact, you know what? I, I, I think we should be doing something today specifically, um, you know, to um, celebrate this. Because if, if we are going to use it in one or two builds, I guess other people might want it as well. Um, we need to quarry it really. And today I want to get this quarry done over here. Now if we look inside the quarry as the sun sets... This is where the rally track comes around. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. And down the bottom there, as you can see, there is some uh, blocks coming out of this quarry, including 
granite maybe we should open a shop and sell it what do you think let me know in the comments should we open a shop and sell this stuff um but yeah what i want to do is to really sort of get this place if i got torches on me no i can't even light up this track um let's go well we'll go and sleep in a second um but yeah i want to get this quarry sort of um in place so uh, i think today we're going to get sorted on a few maybe a quarry building maybe some mechanical diggers cranes i don't know something like that to get the uh the, the stuff out of the quarry so uh, yeah I think that, that's what we're going to work on I've got some different coloured clay because I guess some of the stuff is going to require that um, but like anything I'm not prepared so let me get a chest get a few more items together and then we'll get going <laughs> that I'm liking a lot uh, I think that looks pretty cool it's uh, really sort of turned it into a quarry now so we've got a bulldozer over here that's moving stone around putting in piles then we've got another digger over here that's putting these onto a conveyor belt we've got a little man over there and he's got his his hard hat on his high vis and his his boots and trousers and he's setting the TNT ready to blast again um, and let's just go and have a look over too far here but we've got our little dock area now I've done it like this because 
there's a lot of places in the world actually and I can't get on there there's a lot of places in the world where um, they actually take their quarry loads out by boat and it reminds me of a place that I lived uh, not so many years ago, four or five years ago I lived in uh, North Wales and on the North Wales coast they have a lot of quarries quarrying slate and quarrying uh, granite and gravel and all sorts of things and uh, I used to drive past one of those every day and uh, they would have these uh, conveyor belts and did actually go over the top of a uh, four lane dual carriageway and then across and we'd often see the boats in the dock of all this um, their sort of uh, the gravel and everything else was pouring into the boat so we're going to have to build ourselves a boat here we'll uh, have to make it uh, right so it's picking up all that stuff and of course what is it picking up mmm granite <laughs> that's uh, just for a bit of fun that's got to be the block it's going to be picking up isn't it so uh, although i dare say it'll pick some other bits up so we need to do a quarry boat next that's uh, one of the things we need to do is have a quarry boat here uh, moored up receiving all of this and they're a, they're a specific type of boat um, they're not just like any normal sailing ship they're designed to carry heavy loads of uh, rock around the world and i believe the stuff from uh, stuff from Wales does go halfway around the world over to Asia I, I, I do believe but anyway that's um, yeah I think that looks pretty good and I think it adds to our rally track so hopefully when we come across uh, this area over here and uh, I've gone too far and yeah so when the, the rally track comes around here we come into the quarry area it says there they were quarry and you'll just get a little glimpse of it as you come round um, you know in terms of that but if we then do it like we plan to where we've got another path coming down here that will be able to come this way round here and of course you're going to get a really good view of it and we'll probably take it across that way over there as well um, and I haven't got any blocks on me I haven't got any <laughs> enter pearls on me uh, isn't that just typical uh, let's go this way if we can let's go yay uh, yeah so then it'll go round that way and across the top over this conveyor belt and off in that direction so you get a good view of it then as well but I think it's quite good let me know what you think leave me a like if you think it's pretty good and uh, leave me any comments is there anything else you think we can add to this quarry um, I don't know it's a working quarry we've got our diggers we've got our things so other than adding a few more people I'm not quite sure but I'd love to get your feedback on it as well if you can so uh, yeah pretty awesome but I think unfortunately that's going to be all we've got time for today it's a slightly shorter than normal episode um, just because uh, I've run out of time I'm really really busy with other stuff at the moment with work and that so trying to get these episodes out for once a week uh, is proving a bit of a challenge but uh, we will manage it we'll keep on top of our schedule um, so yeah thanks very much for watching everyone I've had a blast both with TNT and blasting here in the quarry. Hopefully you have two, and uh, we'll see you next time here on New Rear Door. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.